Hello everyone, welcome to HA Programming Solutions. So in last video we have seen uh, this question. How to print the employee which is having highest salary. Okay. Now in this video we will see how we can count the number of male and female employees in the organization. Okay. Now if we go to the IntelliJ, see here we have one field which is gender right and here we have some female employees and we have some male employees okay now the question what is the question question is saying count the number of male and female employees in the organization okay so we have to find out how many male employees are there and how many female employees are there in your organization okay so now let's just go to here and let's just do the task okay so what i can do i can just comment this previous question okay and now here we need to find out the count of the male and female employees okay so here we will be using the stream api so emp list dot stream and then we want to count the employees based on their gender like how many male employees and how many female employees okay so here i can just use this collect okay and inside this collect i can use collectors okay collectors dot grouping see here we have one method grouping by okay so i will be using this grouping by method what i did i taken this list then i have used the stream once I got the stream, I am using this collect method and here in the collectors class, we have grouping by method. So what this method will do, this will group by particular field. Okay, so here what I want, I want to group by the employee gender. Okay, so I will be just writing here group by employee uh, gender. Okay, and then what I want the employee gender let's suppose here male and female and i want the counting of that uh, like how many male employees are there and how many female employees are there right so here first parameter will be employees get gender i am using here the method reference and now here i will be writing collectors collectors dot counting see here we have the method counting so it will just count okay now here what i can do let's just go here and assign the variable okay so right click show context and introduce a local variable so here what we are getting now we are getting the map first parameter is string or first type is a string and second is long string means what the employee like male or female okay and long means what their count okay so how many male employees are there and how many female employees are there okay so here i can just use maybe count of male and female emp okay and here let me just do the enter and i can just write s out count of male and female employees if i save and execute the code see here in the output you will see the male employees are four and female employees are six okay now if you see here the list of the employees see if i just see here the gender female one two three four then five and six right so six female employees are there and then remaining four are the male okay so this way we can use this group by grouping by method of the collectors class okay so here what i am doing i am grouping by the gender of the employee and then i need the count of each gender right for the male how many employees are there and for the female how many employees are there right that's the reason i have used here collectors dot grouping by method and in this grouping by method i have passed two parameters 
first one is the method reference i have used here for the employee gender and second parameter is counting okay so this method counting method will count the employees which is having the female gender and then male gender okay and in the output if you see what this this is returning us this is returning us the map so map of what first parameter sorry the first uh, uh, type is a string and second is long string means what if you see here in the output string means this one the male okay and the second long long means what the count of that gender okay so this way you can get the count of male and female employees in the organization okay i hope this is clear to everyone if you have any questions please mention in the comment section and if you like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel okay so for this video i will just stop here and in the next video we will see the next question which is this one what is the average salary or average age of the male and female employees okay so this will be our next question okay so for today we can just stop here thank you